hello everyone today we are going to work on this take down uh, gameplay ability for our character so here if i go closer from behind and press middle mouse the character will do a quick takedown like this here this is the demonstration so this is what we are going to work on today so to do that we have to make sure that we are sneaking behind the character because we have already worked on a system where we make a footstep noise if we are not sneaking they will hear us and they start fighting with us so but yeah this is what we are going to work on today and we will implement this using the gameplay ability system and its features so before we get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all of the thousands of projects that i have done in my channel from the patreon page once you become a member you can download anything without a limit and also this is a part of this action rpg with gameplay ability system series i'm doing so you can watch all the episodes for free in my channel i'll leave the link to the full playlist in the description and let's get back to today's tutorial okay so first thing i want to do is so now we need a way to determine the enemies in front of us when we do uh, when we sneak behind them but uh, at the moment as i only have one character for both players and npcs i think it's a good time that we distinguish these two so that we can have specific things that is only required for the player implemented in player's blueprint so here let's do that now let's create a child blueprint and i'll name it player and another child blueprint we might not need this right away i'll call it npc and just to make it clear i'll set their color to red like this and then um let me go here and copy camera boom and follow camera and close the npc open the player and here paste it and then go back here and delete it because we don't need cameras for the base character just to make sure everything is working let's assign this new player character as the player and yeah camera and everything is working and now as you can see here these npc characters let me delete this guy for now i only would want to test the takedowns so this is actually uh, this base character i'll name it third person character base so this is actually base character yeah so i replace it wait oh, we have three more characters around the level so i'll replace it with third person character npc but nothing will be changed everything will work as it worked before see all right now let me just do an attack and see if everything is working yeah working okay now that we have fixed that issue let's go to the player so here i'm gonna add a collider to detect enemies in front of me so 
box collision oh it should not be added under the spring now huh? it should be added under the road and move it forward a little bit I'll call it enemy detector and then we'll have full dynamic that should be fine for now so here let's add on component begin overlap event and on the other actor now we need to check if the actor we are colliding is a is a ally or an enemy only for enemies we should enable taking down silent takedowns so we can get faction id this is something we have already worked on in a previous episode in the affiliation video if you don't remember you can check the affiliation video we did in this action rpg series so here we can check if this is not equal to my faction id if this is true that means we have detected an enemy now uh, let's convert this to a macro check affiliation so that we can reuse this in other places as well when i need it first one is enemy other one is ally okay now if that is an ally now this is where we need to activate the takedown ability but we haven't created the takedown ability yet so let's set up one let's go to abilities and actually this takedown ability is going to be very similar to the stun attack ability that we have already worked on here we can use this uh, activate ability from event and we can send a gameplay event that contains the victim of our takedown and then through an input we can activate the ability again so that we can do the actual taking down part so i'm just gonna duplicate this ga stun attack and rename ga take down okay all right and here let's go to the class defaults instead of ability stun attack let's add a new ability type ability dot take down source this add new tag and mark ability dot take down as this as the tag of this take down ability and under ability triggers also I choose ability dot take down and standard and montages so actually i'll rename this um, take down montages okay and we have we already have three but this one this stabbing from the back well actually this is stabbing from the front but this would work for the takedown and i'll just keep only that and remove the first two um, animation pairs and here so to do takedowns we don't need to check the stamina levels so we can just delete this part and uh, the rest should be actually fine for now 
Okay, now we have the takedown gameplay ability. I'll add it. Uh, where should we ground this ability? I think when we collect the sword, we should ground this ability. So here, G A. Take down, take down. Okay, G take down. Alright. Now, uh, here. This is the player. We can send gameplay event to actor. Actor is self. Uh, for now, I'm not thinking about replication or anything. I just need to make this work in the simplest way possible. Then we can look into other complicated scenarios. Ability take down and make payload. So here I'll pass the other actor as the instigator of oh, this should not be self this should be called other it's just a minor thing now this is the tag okay and then so this would just call this part which is Oh, here we should call trade down in Abbott. Okay, now where have you to reactivate this? Actually, we can do that in the same place. We activate the stun attacks, which is where here. I'm gonna bind it to the same input which is middle mouse button so this take down all right is that all let's test yeah go here I got take down enable notification if I press middle mouse oh it is doing the attack but we don't have the weapon so we either I should only enable uh, takedowns when I have equipped the weapon or I should auto equip the weapon I think it's better to enable auto equip so we can do it like this we can get our uh, actor from actor info and get the ability system component and has matching gameplay tag can check if sword is equipped so if not we can equip it if it is equipped then we can simply proceed otherwise we can um, do this activate try activate ability by tag and the tag make little tag container I should use input weapon equip and for this part uh, let me collapse this equip weapon and here after this maybe we should give a little delay of let's say 0.4 seconds and then we can proceed 
but before proceeding we need to again check if weapon is equipped using the same tag i could actually do this also but then in any case if we don't have a weapon we might run into an infinite loop here so i don't want that to happen so that's why i add this i want to add this duplicated branch even though it looks a bit weird yeah i name as no weapons okay if we don't have weapons we can just end the ability mm -hmm. yeah now this should work let's see Okay, press middle mouse. Yeah, he died. Great. Let's try again. Okay. All right. So it's working, but this is not complete yet. Uh, next thing we need to do here is if the enemy is alerted uh, by the time we reach uh, somehow if the enemy is alerted then we should not have the ability we should not allow character to do a takedown so that's the next thing i want to do and also we need to test how this would work in a multiplayer environment as well but I'll leave those parts into the next episode and I'm going to stop this episode right here. So thanks for watching. As always, updated project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And feel free to let me know what you guys think in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.